Oh, this could be a nice day. Hey, look at this. X marks a spot. Yeah. Hi, everybody. So I'm back out here in the garage today, messing with the scooter. And uh, let me show you what I got. Took the motor back off. Took the gas tank loose and disconnected the throttle cable and ran it down underneath. Here it is sticking out the bottom. And what I had to do, remember me showing you I had this 45 pitch gear in there and it fit perfect. So all I had to do is move it over that much. Well, I lined this up with the side of the existing hole and saw where these other holes were and it was like just a fraction of a hole off. It just needed a little bit more wiggle room in there. So I just took the next size bit, a half inch bit, and hogged out the next holes. And uh, you can see the shavings and everything all over the place. So. I'm going to brush that all off and mount it back up and see what happens. So I got the engine back on and uh, I'm one bolt shy of being able to put all four bolts for the engine mounts. Uh, just don't have another one long enough. And I'm going to have to go to the hardware store and get one I guess, but I'm not going to break away from what I'm doing to do that. I can do that later from the other side. Right now I'm going to put the torque plate on there and uh, see if I missed the mark, see if I can get it lined up, or if I'm on track, or what. Let's give her. See what happens. I was hoping that that would actually idle without that rear tire spinning. There's always been a problem with that centrifugal clutch too. It seemed to run through. Brake. Didn't have no brake to stop it. So I'm gonna take all the slop out of that cable and readjust them. Okay, I got that brake adjusted a little bit. Try again. Funkin', no thunking. I do think that carburetor is uh, binding up a little bit in the uh, not quite fully closed position. So it's idling kind of high and it's like really hard to stop. But man, I can really tell a difference. Um, I think I'm going to put that cover on it. 
and uh, then take it for another spin. Now good? Yeah, it is. Yeah, I forgot I was gonna have to cut out notches for that chain to go through on this thing. So I'm gonna do that real quick. Cut. Yeah, take a little file of that, get them little burrs off there just to keep them from going up into the unit. Reminds me of my old plastic mold injection days where I was a mold tech and a press operator. In the flash off the parts. Didn't do a very good job on this. Missed a lot. It was okay, not gonna hurt nothing. Right. Put this on and have some fun. Oh, anyway, let me show you what I did. That's knocked out a couple of teeth. Now it looks like he's got a gate in his grill. <laughs> Alright, let's go. Looking goofy as a bed bug. There's that uh, cover on there. And yeah, I've got a piece of electrical tape over the microphone so you don't get so much turbulence. What you're about to see is something you probably haven't seen, if ever, for a long time. So brace yourself, and here we go. God, stuff went everywhere. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God. I probably never find all these pieces. Well, I guess you saw that. That's what happens when your torque converter explodes. Apparently, that uh, bolt in the driver came up, came loose, and everything just went flying apart. And uh, now I'm stuck out here by Herman Munster's old place. And uh, <laughs> actually, it's an old elementary school they don't use anymore. But anyway, I'm just a couple blocks from home, so I'll be pushing. And I'm not gonna make you watch me do that, but I think I picked up all the parts. Uh, I tried to watch, see where everything was flying. I got two springs, all the uh, the bolt and the little housing thing that goes on the driven, 
I'll show you all when I get back to the house. All right. Here are the parts that I collected after that catastrophic event. Destroyed the cover, which is really a shame. It was pretty nice. However, I believe that if it hadn't been on there, these parts would have went flying and I would have never found them. I think that breaking through that plastic may have slowed them down enough that I was able to see where they went. Now, stay with me because I want you to confirm that I have everything that I need to put this back together. We've got this part of the bell. It's got that slider thing. We've got these two center weight things. This one is bent, but I think I may be able to straighten it out. I don't know. Got the outer part of the bell. Two springs. And the bolt and its retainer. And I think I didn't have that torque down good enough is why this all happened. I forgot to put good force on that. I just tightened it hand tight and went, dang me. So, I think that's everything. Let me know if it's not, because uh, I may try to straighten that up and see if I can put it back together, but I'm probably not gonna ride it until I post this and get some feedback from you guys. This is the first torque converter, converter I've ever messed with. I've got one on the go-kart, but I've never had to do anything to it. That's why I like watch T-Man's videos and all these other guys that mess with these things. But I don't remember ever hearing somebody say, be sure to tighten this down good or you'll be sorry. Dang. All right, that's it for now. Let me know what you think. <laughs> Well, wonders ever cease, huh? All right, you guys have a good night. I'll talk to you later. Let me know what you think. Do I got all my parts? Or am I screw loose? All right, see ya. Oh, shit. <laughs> oh, crap. Oh, my God. Stuff went everywhere. Wow. Look at that. Oh my God.